The logging in and logging off is the part that pisses me off. And the breaks. Because I'm not in school. So what the fuck you think I'm doing? I'm going to make sure she get on. I'm going to fix us some breakfast. After that, she on her motherfucking own. But them breaks be pissing me off because she be wanting to come in there and talk to me. And I'm trying to take a little, little quick sleep now. Daddy, I'm on break. I don't give a fuck. I'm not in school. Go and sit in front of that motherfucker till your break is up. So she tried to break it down to me. She's 10 years old. She was like, well, Daddy, when we had the breaks, it would be like if we was going to recess and stuff. I said, well, sit on your computer and find virtual recess. <laughs> And go do that. Quit fucking with me while I'm in this small fucker. Because I don't want to be in there. It's your education. I'm done. My mother kids be thinking, I don't know what a lot of people done did, but kids be thinking, you supposed to buy them shit when they get good grades. My grandmama didn't make buy me. My mama ain't buy me shit when I got good grades. My grandmama told me, I said, man, mama, all my friends, and they getting, this when, this when the motherfucker started Jackson was out. Hey, grandma, I got all A's. You give me a starter Jackson? She said, how much it cost, baby? I went and looked and shit. Oh, it was a hundred. <laughs> That's where you fucked up right there. <laughs> when you start off with a hunt, I don't want to hear the rest of it. She said, boy, them grades got to do with your life. I am done. She said, shit, I, I just started learning how to read. I'm all right. Don't fuck about no goddamn grades. What you mean, grades? And I had to realize that with my kids. You know, this. I, I graduated. I went to school. This is your life. You want to wake up late for this e-learning shit? Cool. But I'm as responsible father, I'm doing my motherfucking part is spending the time with you. And taking the time to try to wake you the fuck up. Now, if you don't get the fuck up, I don't know what the fuck to tell these people. And you need not to be falling asleep on the couch because I'm tired of them texting me. <laughs> Could you get Damani? She's asleep again. I'm going to and I go in the motherfucker. I don't want them to know how I be hollering at her. Because you know they'll be, you know, they so sensitive now. Ain't a motherfucker here that 35 or older ever got hollered at lightly when we was kids. So I'd swing around, put that motherfucker on mute. Now. Get your motherfucking ass up! Take that cover off. That cover making you cozy. Matter of fact, get up out that chair. Stand the fuck up for school. Then I cut the mute back on. She's all right. She's here. But was your mama like that in real life? Your mama was like that, will cuss you out like a motherfucker at home. Get in front of people, be this nice. Your mama's so sweet, this bitch is the devil. What do you see that I don't see? This lady is Satan's sister. This is Satan's sister. Fuck out of here, this e-learning shit, man. It's cool because you don't want your kid to get sick, but I really want her to go to school, and I think I kind of want her to get sick so she can get sick. Because you know, let me tell you something. The reason y'all probably say that fucked up say, but you ever have a fucked up life-changing experience, and it, what it is, it change your life. If she go get sick, she might appreciate certain shit. You know, kids don't appreciate shit no more. I got my daughter, this motherfucking debit card with a pitch on I forgot the name of it. Got her the debit card, and I said, you got to wash dishes. And you got to clean up your shit. That's your job. Clean up this. You're getting $10 a week. She looked at me and said, that's, that's it? <laughs> I, said, Hold on. I said, how about we go back to nothing? How about we go back to nothing? You get nothing a week then, motherfucker. I said, I'm giving you $10 a week. And at the end of the month, I'm going to take you somewhere. And you can do something with it. If it ain't enough, daddy might put something on it. But fuck you. You don't appreciate what the fuck I'm doing. I should have never let that shit, when that shit came up on my Facebook about getting your kids together, I should have just went on past. And I was thinking about your little puss ass, this shit you always ask the fuck. I don't gotta buy you shit directly. I can feed you and clothe you. That is state law. After that, I don't have to do shit. Get these three little pussy ass meals and one of them, one of them will be cereal, okay? And don't think you're going to get cereal just because it's breakfast. You might get cereal for dinner. You ever had dinner cereal? Guess what? It tastes the same. It's just dark outside. Sick of these motherfucking kids. Our, the kids that we raising 
are too fucking sensitive and we keep letting it happen. I yelled at my nephew the other day. Do you know this nigga start crying? I had to ask my sister, bitch, what are you doing to him? He's 19. <laughs> this nigga's crying. Because I said, don't come in my motherfucking house sagging, showing your ass. He, you, you, you yelled? You can't talk so aggressive. I said, nigga, I'll knock your motherfucking ass out. I said, you better not catch no case. <laughs> You're going to be in a full relationship before they even <laughs> fingerprint you, man. 